Hey guys, it's me Delta One here with God's Air Softers. And today I have an unboxing video for you with the closest thing I could use to an AK without using an AK to open up my box. A Mikhail Kalashnikov knife. Haha. -ha. Now, as you know from the last video, I got sponsored by TX911, which is a local store. They have an online online retail. Really good. They are quite a ways, about 45 minutes, so it's just more convenient for both parties instead of just spending a trillion dollars in my own money for gas to go and pick it up. You know, they just ship it to me, and they wanted me to do a review of this product, so I, I did not object. So go check them out, and we'll see. So, let's open this up. All right, good packaging. I like seeing packing paper in my boxes. Many times where I haven't seen that and stuff comes broken. So first off, we have an Elite Force CO2 1911. So it costs about, I think on the website, about $100. And he also sent me some Elite Force premium grade 6mm BBs. So. These, I believe, are rebranded off Golden Ball, and Golden Ball BBs are good. Um, just make sure you buy the ones with the right packaging because the old original ones were really bad. So, let's open up the, this little 1911 here. I'm curious to see it. Get a little manual with some styrofoam packaging. Got a Leap Force manual. Let's see if it's got Chinglish in it. No Chinglish so far. It's actually pretty good. Maybe this would be the first airsoft gun ever that doesn't have horrible English. Hey, look, you get notes so you can write stuff. I've never seen a gun come with notes before. It's pretty cool. Well, this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy. It says it uses .25s, which is good because most people don't know the FPS to rate weight ratio to get the most premium accuracy and range out of their guns, so I'm glad to see that. So let's check this 1911 out. My first my first impressions, guys, is I'm expecting this to be completely super ridiculous off scale because it's CO2. And evidently it's not. Although the Magwell is though. Oh, let's turn this around. The Magwell is um First impressions is this is rebranded off a of KWC. Now, don't get me wrong, KWC has been known for the CO2. Uh, they've also been known for their Desert Eagles. Get a little Allen key to twist in, and nothing else comes in the box. So, first impressions. The finishing is is pretty nice. I would like to go over it and refinish it though, but I do that with a lot of my guns. Uh, one of the things I don't like right off the bat is that they have these trademarks on it that say Elite Force right here, 1911. I mean, I can understand the 6mm trademarks right there because, you know, SB79 would not. But you do get threads, so that's nice. So, yeah. Anyways, the slide is pretty nice. It's The recoil spring isn't as tough as you would say as a WE. 1911 because I've had I've held and messed with a ton of those the trigger It's pretty good too. I'm pretty impressed with this I'm pretty sure with a little modifications you can exchange these out for real steel handguards But I will be comparing this to a real Colt 45 1911 though It is a target pistol the only differences are the sights and the rifling in the barrel so I will be comparing one uh, So that'll be pretty cool because my neighbor has one and he's a target pistol shooter and he's ridiculous he can hit like a wooden chip clip at like 50 yards <laughs> like ridiculous that's with like a 22 target pistol so I'm kind of anxious to see that although I was expecting this to be really off scale and it's not so guys let me know what you think and uh, thank you TX911 guys go check them out link in the description to where you could buy this and go shopping and whatnot. They have all sorts of stuff. And you can expect to see a review of that. And I'll do an overview of these BBs just to see because these things have been ending up everywhere recently. 
I mean, it is nice that you get a bottle because you can keep the humidity out because over time, and I'm saying over quite, I don't know how long this would take, but if your BBs get wet, they will expand, but this, we're talking minute differences. So um, it is nice that you get a cap instead of a bag, but I mean, if you're like me, I keep my stuff in an airtight ammo container. So when you're out and done shooting, I guess you can uh, wash this out and use this as a water bottle, but I wouldn't do that. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Go check them out, and see you in the next video.